Apologies, Herr Hitler. Your bombers won't get through tonight. One down. Seventeen to go. Dad. Oh, Dad, where are oh, you? My grandpa, but he wasn't always this confused. Take this, Jerry! He was once the Royal Air Force's bravest Spitfire pilot. That was during World War II, but our story takes place 40 years later, in the 1980s. I wasn't like the other kids at school. I didn't want a Rubik's Cube or a mullet. I was happiest with my World War II model planes from Grandpa's stories. The best day of the week was always Saturday. That was the day that me and my sister Shelley would see Grandpa. If we were really lucky, he would take us to the war museum. It was him or me. I pressed on my machine guns. The air was filled with bullets, smoke, fire. I'd hit my first Messerschmitt. The Luftwaffe pilot, he parachuted down. I let him be. Then it was back to base, and Grandpa would take us on a top secret mission. Right, off we go. Can it be secure? Check. You'll get on full. Check. Up, up, and away! Up, up, and away! <laughs> it was the happiest of times. Up, up, and away! But times changed. Grandpa became more forgetful. He'd forget he'd made a cup of tea and make another one. So I tried to help. Every week I got his shopping. Waiter, this is court. In spite of his medication, Grandpa wasn't getting any better. In fact, he was getting worse. Morning, Grandpa. Time for your doctor's appointment. We'll, we'll just wait for Peggy. <laughs> My dear wife, Peggy. Just getting ready. She won't be a minute. Peggy's not here, Grandpa. She died during the war. Is she? Mm. My darling Peggy. It's okay, Grandpa. I'll look after you. I wish I could say my family helped with Grandpa, but they had their own things going on. This is my sister. She got older and was only interested in Duran Duran. Mum was a high roller in the beauty business. Avon calling! Dad worked for the council. He always claimed he was head of road maintenance. But Mum said he was in charge of traffic cones. It certainly was his favourite topic of conversation. So, guess where traffic cones were first used in the UK? Nobody cares, Barry. No, the correct answer is the M6. <laughs> Occasionally, it was like it used to be. How fast is that Spitfire going, Grandpa? Top speed, 360 miles an hour, near enough. I'll give anything, anything, to fly one again. The funny thing was, Grandpa wasn't confused when he talked about the war. And that gave me an idea. Good morning, Wing Commander. Squad leader. The medical officer wants to know if you've had your energy pills today. Righty ho, down the hatch. I just pretend the war was still on. Anything further from Air Command? They want us to keep physically fit for the coming battle. Kick about in the park? Good call. Which was fine when it was just Grandpa and me, but harder with all the family. Now, the story behind making traffic cones orange is a fascinating one. 
This tea's off. That's gravy, Dad. Dad? You're not my son. My son's a little, little baby. <laughs> Whatever next. He's got worse. Much worse. He'd be best off in a... He is in a home, Mum. His home. And he's happy there. He's drinking from the gravy boat, Jack. The gravy boat. Wing Commander. Twin Leader. You're in the mess hall. And the char lady. I beg your pardon? Has just served up your rations. Oh, oh, so jolly good. Uh. I don't know if you should be pretending it's the war, Jack. What if he attacks that nice German lady who works in bee jams? This food is diabolical. Then we can have the char lady taken out and shot. <laughs> I'm trying to help. So we tried to play along, and that worked out for a while, until one night, Dad found Grandpa sitting on the church roof. Love, he's on the church roof this time. Well, I don't know how he got up there. If there's only one person who can get him down. You are joking. This is a saga now. We need Jack. You know how close he is to his grandpa. It's too late. Jack's got a geography test tomorrow and I've got a ton of makeup to shift. Or do you want a garage full of unsold bucks for his eyeshadow? I'm going to help Grandpa, Mum. It's up to you if you come or not. Well, let me get this off first. Come on, Mum. <laughs> What time do you call this? Mum, stop ruining everything for me. We will have words later, young lady. You Shirley's sister? No, I'm silly. I'm a mum. But I know. I look young for my age. <laughs> and you must be... Dazza. But I do often get mistaken for Simon Le Bon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet you do. Mum, I want you in bed in one minute. Good night, Mrs Shirley's mum. I can see you. I'm completely cuckoo. Oh, Jack, help him, please. What is a peer's name is going on here? Get down off my roof, you vandal! Think you're a good shot, Ed? We'll see about that. My father gets a little confused sometimes. Not confused, he's certifiable. What if he falls off? I don't want to spend my morning scooping him up. You want us to fetch the air rifle, right? Yeah, yeah that'll yeah, bring it yeah, down. Yeah, that'll work for the pigeons, yeah. No, please, just wait. Wing Commander, this is base. Over. Well, this is Wing Commander. Reading you loud and clear. Your mission has been a great success. Return to base. Roger that. Oh, hang on, hang on. He's gonna fall. Oh. 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 Fall out, men. Wing Commander, let me escort you to your transport. There's drinks in the officer's mess. Yeah, just a job, squad leader. Oh, no, oh, no. No, no, fine. Shouldn't have eaten that pickled egg. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I do bring a lot of comfort to the old and the infirm of the parish. I'd have to help if I could. We just want what's best for us. <laughs> I mean, him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is the most wonderful carom nearby. Twilight Towers. <laughs> I don't think you'd like that. Oh, no, it's heavenly. It's like Disneyland for coffin dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's not going in our home. Yeah, trouble is, it's very often very, very full. <laughs> what a shame. But then I have a very good relationship with Miss Dandy. What runs Twilight Towers? She just might be able to squeeze him in. Perfect. No! <laughs> well, we need to discuss this as a family first. Uh, might be too late, but yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Why don't you take with you this uh, colour brochure of Twilight Towers? And this is for you, boy. You say it's a little gonk. It's got googly eyes. 
Just like your granddad. <laughs> good oh, good night. God bless you. God bless you, obviously. It looks lovely. It's more like a hotel than somewhere you get put to die. Char lady, this is the worst roast beef I have ever tasted. It's not roast beef, it's fish pie. And for the last time, I'm not your char lady. Your son has something to tell you. We had a new order of traffic cones in there, reflective. Barry! Now, oh. you know we all love you very much. But the thing is, it... Spit it out, Em, and choppity chop. After what happened last week, we thought it might be best if... If you came here to live with us. You odd. He could share my bedroom. Well, we can't cope with him here. Well, it's not a bad idea. Uh, he better not hog the bathroom. It takes me ages to creep my hair in the morning. I'm sorry, but... I accept, though the catering had better improve. I'll tell the char lady. Where am I going again? Our house, Dad. You're coming to live with us. On a trial basis. I, I, I live... Here, yeah, Peggy won't know where I've got to. Son? Wing Commander, due to enemy activity, the Air Commander wants you to lodge at alternative quarters. <laughs> Why didn't they just say? <laughs> Charity shop, sale. Rubbish, 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 rub. This is not rubbish. Wing Commander, let me take you to the tuck shop. Ooh, jolly good. Aha! My two favourite customers, Mr Bumting and Master Bumting. It's Bunting. Bumting, like I said. Hello there, Quartermaster. I have a very special offer for today. Fifteen cans of... Quattro. For the price of 14? Uh, no thanks. What has a hazelnut in every bite? Topic! <laughs> or any of these other bars which melted in the window with it. I, I, I'm quite partial to a smarty. Those I have. Both traditional and limited edition green ones. Uh, really, they are moldy rebels. Standard issue will be fine. Uh, you'll find them under the puzzle magazines next to the correcting fluid. You look troubled, Master Bumting. Grandpa's coming to live with us. Splendid! I just... I worry about whether it'll work out. Do not fret. Indian family is always taking the older generation. It works without fail. Even when Auntie Pia sings wham rap at the top of her voice when I'm trying to watch the snooker. Either Grandpa comes to live with us, or he'll be sent to Twilight Towers. Oh, no. What? No, no, no. I've heard very bad things about Twilight Towers. What? They say the only way out of that place is... in a coffin. Do you really want to hurt me? What a fine-looking woman. We can't leave him in the house on his own. No. What are we going to do? Tomorrow's the launch of the country diary of an Edwardian lady roll on deodorant. Well, I've got a really big day at work tomorrow. I've got to test all the new traffic cones. Have I ever told you how I judge them? Many times. Durability, colour, attractive shape. Why did I marry you? Jack, you're going on a school trip tomorrow? Yep. Well, you have to take Grandpa with you. Where are you going? War Museum. Perfect! You can take him along. He loves a bit of war. Fine replica, squad leader. I wish they were real. The Spitfire's like nothing else. You can turn on a sixpence. Grandpa, when you... Hush, we, we need to listen out for enemy aircraft. 
that silly, stupid boyfriend, Dazza. Mum, I mean, the air commander, says lights out by nine. I hope you don't snore. I can't abide snorers. I don't think I do. Well, good night, squad leader. Thank you for sharing your quarters. Very decent of you. Glad to help, sir. Good night. Everyone, Rubik's Cube's down. Eyes up, looking. Looking. I want to remind everyone that this is an educational trip. We will not have a repeat of the tomfoolery at the zoo. I don't want to find a live penguin in Gavin Macy's rucksack. Got that? Good. You're not in year six. Why are you here? He's my grandpa, miss. Yeah, I can surmise that. He was a Spitfire pilot in the war. Well, if he promises to be educational, he can come. Thank you, miss. Now, everyone has a questionnaire. Oh. And nobody is allowed in the gift shop until it has been filled out. And that is a fact. Am I clear? Yes, Miss Verity. Good. And here's yours, Coach Driver. Need his handwriting, please. Right, everyone off, please. No talking, no laughing, no dawdling. <laughs> Oi, you lot. Don't climb on the tanks. I've been here before. Yes, you have, many times. You took me, Grandpa, do you remember? What's my Spitfire doing hanging from the ceiling? What's wrong with your granddad? Nothing. Th these pilots are very young. New recruits. Ah. Ah, I see. How are you getting on? Are you stuck? Stupid answers, not on the stupid board. I can help you with that. I was there. You see, the Nazis wanted to bomb the life out of us so they could invade and take us over. Herr Hitler sent huge squadrons of Junkers and Messerschmitts over the coast. The sky was black with them. RAF pilots had to stop the Nazi bombers from getting through. We were young and frightened, not... Well, not that much older than you are. My squadron was the first to be scrambled, up, up and away. I pushed my Spitfire past 300 miles an hour. Whoa. You, you see, they outnumbered us, oh, four to one. So to stand any chance, we had to get above them before they got here. We waited up there until the enemy was so close we could see the swastikas on their tails, and then I gave the order. <clears throat> when did all this happen, exactly? Sorry. The children need dates for the exam. Facts, facts, and more facts. Facts are all that matter. Oh, well, it was, uh, yeah, last Monday. <laughs> I hardly think so. No, no, oh, no, no, sorry. I tell a lie. Uh, last, uh, last Sunday. Sorry. All right, settle down, everyone. The Battle of Britain was not last Sunday. It took place between July and October 1940. Make a note of that, class. That's what I'm saying. Jack, I'm sure your grandfather means well, but he is a very old and confused man. Maybe he did do something during the war, but I very much doubt that he was a Spitfire pilot. He was. Can I have a word in private? Your grandfather is not welcome on any more school trips. But, miss... That is a... Right, class, this way, please. Turn to question 98 in the Grandpa? Grandpa! 
Up here, squad leader. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Looking for my logbook. I wanted to prove that awful woman wrong. It's wonderful to be back in my plane again. They wouldn't mind if I took her for a spin, would they? Um, I think they might. Oi, what are you playing at? Look out. It's the SS. Take him down, squad leader. I'll make a break for it. I can't take him down. He's ginormous. That is really hurtful. Jack! Uh. You tell your grandfather to come down this uh. instant! Uh. You'll burn my face! Run for it! Yeah. Classic Gestapo mind games. Prisoner war camp for me, as long as it's not cold lit. I won't let them take you away. Yeah. Sorry I let you down, old chap. You didn't. And you never will. Mum, Dad, you can't let Grandpa be thrown into prison. What's well, not up to us? The police told us what happened. Yeah, Grandpa the damaged a very valuable plane. Oh, I don't think there'll be any need for prison. <laughs> Let me make a call for you, John. Oh, thank mm. you, Reverend. Oh. <laughs> oh, we are so pleased to see you. <laughs> Hello, Miss Dandy. Yes, yeah, me. I have a gentleman here in desperate need of help. No one I can sort of any of the duty sergeant at the police station, but might you, as a huge favour to me, be able to squeeze him into Twilight Towers? Cold hits. I was going to find out. Oh, it's coming, it's coming back as quickly. Oh, oh, you can! Oh, you can! Oh, that's marvellous! You're a lifesaver, Miss Dandy! Thank you. Oh, rejoice, oh, rejoice. Oh, thank you so much, Vicar. Mm. You are a good man. Oh, thank you, thank you. Anything for my flock. <laughs> but would you rather he went to prison, boy? Huh? <laughs> you enjoying your toad in the hole, Dazza? Oh, delicious, Mrs. Shelley's mum. <laughs> I think it might be the nicest dinner I've ever read. OTT. Is that Mark here? He's our guest. Dad? Can we go and see Grandpa after dinner? No, Jack. He'll be too busy in his new place. All those baskets to weave. Shelley tells me you work at the garage. Yeah. I used to be YTS, but they took me on full time because an Austin princess fell on Monk Lansom's leg. <laughs> oh, that was a stroke of luck. <clears throat> so, don't tell me. You must be a model. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I have been known to grace the cover of the Avon brochure. Mum. Oh, you'll have to give me one. <laughs> I'll stick it on the wall at work next to Linda Lasardi. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me see if I can find you one. Mum. Oh, well, Barry, do us a favour. What? Get rid of all the traffic cones between my gaff and work. <laughs> That would be against the traffic cone code of conduct. I bet that's interesting reading. <laughs> How do we know if Grandpa's too busy? He needs a rest, love. We 
didn't want to tell you, son, but Grandpa has a weak heart. But he's going to be all right. I'll do Kung Fu. How wonderful for you. Yeah, I'll teach you if you like, Junior. Learn from the master. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. Well, you ever get in trouble, you know where to come. I'm like a kung fu expert. I've seen Enter the Dragon 17 times. Wow. I've got to go up and do my homework. Homework? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never bother with homework. Which I deeply regret, because you should always, always do your homework. No, unless Knight Rider's on. Let's have three. Let's have three. I was hoping to visit my grandfather. We're closed for visitors. Please. Matron! Can I help you, boy? I'm here to visit my grandfather, Mr Bunting. Oh, the new arrival. Well, he'll just have had his yummy pills, and now he'll be having his super snooze. Is he all right? We're really close. Really? Because he hasn't mentioned you. Nurse Blossom, Nurse Rose, has Mr Bunting mentioned his grandson at all? Nah. No. I think Grandpa's forgotten all about you. N no, he can't have. A visiting hours between 3 and 3.15 every alternate Sunday. Until then, kindly bog off. Everyone, hurry up! I better cut my bayonetta. Come on, Shelley, we need to go visit Grandpa. I'm not coming. I've got to take the charts. And I need to test this lip line or a next door's cat. Come on, Mum. Today. Every day is party day at Twilight Towers. Oh, come in and see for yourself. Folk, the very best time. I mean, you can't be sure how much time they've got left. Oh, which reminds me. Did you bring Mr Bunting's documentation, the passport, the driving licence, the will? Yes, yes, of course. Yes. yes. And will you put them in the study with the rest of them, please? Well, what a lovely visit. We'll see you again in two weeks. Where's Grandpa? He's very, very tired. He didn't want to see you. I don't believe you. Nurse Blossom! You 
fetch Mr. Bunting. You're a very demanding boy. Dad? Dad? Are you there? We bought you a soap on a rope. <laughs> I've got your favourite treat. Oh, he's fast asleep. Bless. What have they done to you? Um, I think I might take Grandpa out into the garden. The air might perk him up a little bit. Wing Commander. Sorry about that, Squadron Leader. Uh, I'll have those now. Uh, I had to pretend to be asleep. The guards here in Colditz, they force feed us sleeping pills. We get given them morning and night. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hide mine under my moustache. Three nights ago, I undertook a reconnaissance mission. I saw the Commandant doing something very strange with a pile of papers. I leave all my worldly goods to... She must be forging the wills, taking all the money. Then I found a room with valuables in it. And a number of coffins. Could there be some mysterious connection? I'm not sure it's that mysterious. Well, since then, they've increased the patrols. We have to break you out. Too right we do, but the trouble is they're suspicious. They've increased my sleeping pill dose as well. My moustache isn't big enough to hide them all. Look, see, they're like sweets. They don't taste as nice. Then why not take these instead? You could switch them. Oh, 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 oh genius. Raj had a special offer. Eleven tubes for the price of twelve. Yes, you're going to have to work on your math, squadron leader. No, this is just a ticket. What else do you need? Well, any escape attempt requires string. Lots of string. String? Do you have a Browning revolver? Uh, no. Arsenic? I don't think so. Flamethrower? Tricky. Then just make sure you have plenty of string. More string. When will we do it? Well, I've to finish my map, uh, compile a weather report, and I'm halfway through a jigsaw of Big Ben at twilight. Quite a lot of sky to fill in. Tomorrow night? Now, Swan Leader, are you sure you volunteer for this mission? It will be dangerous. I'll be here. Brave chap. Ah, there you are. Still nattering, 31 seconds after visiting hours have actually finished. Gramps, you must be exhausted. What you really need now is a very long nap. See you soon, Dad. Take care. Don't worry. I shall be keeping a very close eye on him, day and night. Why wouldn't you come and see Grandpa? Shut up! You're talking over Duran Duran. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. I'm Simon Le Bon and I've got a stupid French name, even though I'm from Pinner. Why don't you care about Grandpa anymore? I did care about him. I did. But he's not Grandpa anymore. He's someone else. It's scary. No. He's still Grandpa and he cares about us like he always did. Even if you don't. If I was ever in trouble, you'd teach me kung fu. Yes, 
grasshopper. Uh, listen to the master. So th the secret of Kung Fu is that you have to hit someone as hard as you can and shout Kung Fu. Kung Fu! <laughs> so, you don't know Kung Fu? <sighs> Great. Don't tell Shelley I've been here. Well, where are you going? To see Grandpa. But don't tell her that. Do tell her or don't tell her? Don't. Don't do tell her or do don't tell her. Yes. Where did you get them all? Well, well, they're not mine, if that's what you're trying to say. Come on! I'm not going to escape in my pyjamas. The shame. We don't have long. <laughs> Wing Commander, ready? Uh, absolutely. Just one little thing. I, I, I shared out my smarties. But, Grandpa... No buts. It's every British prisoner of war's duty to escape. <laughs> right, everybody, who's first? Could you put kettle on? I'm parched. Would anyone like a game of contract whist? <laughs> this hatch is too small. It's... <laughs> Excuse me. Is there a powder room in the vicinity? I beg your pardon? I wish to visit the laboratorium. I'm desperate for a was! You, you just have to hold it in for a little while, madam, for king and country. Come on! What are you doing? There's no need to be irate, dear. What did he say? You all have to get down now! Where are we going? I can't do it. I can't abide heights. Well, it's just like riding a bike. I've never ridden a bike. Perhaps if you could show me. Very well. I didn't mean leave me. I'd catch you. Do you promise? Absolutely. Well, in that case, here I come! You see? Uh, nothing to worry about. My foot's caught in the gusset! Oh, dear. Did she see you? I think I got away with it. Quick! 
Head east, northeast. Well, that way. We'll never make it past the searchlights. You will if we create a diversion. <laughs> oh, come on, dear. Oh, find her, find her, find her now! Over here! Ah, I should have known. A mass escape attempt with you as the ringleader. It was all my idea. Please let Grandpa go. This young chap had nothing to do with it. I claim full responsibility. Oh, shut up! Do you know what this is? Looks like a toasting fork. It's a cattle prod! Where'd you get that? It was a birthday present. That's a funny sort of birthday present. That's what I asked for! You can knock a man out cold. Torture is strictly forbidden on prisoners of war. You never dare use it. Which one of you was responsible for dishing out the sleeping pills this afternoon? Be miss. <laughs> It's a chap! Yes, hadn't you noticed? No, and I've been caught out a few times before, come to think of it. Get them! Go on! Come! It works! Well done, squad. He's a chap as well. Recharge! Recharge! What should we do now? Well, we've got to keep them away from the POWs. Let go of my foot! So, up here! We're not giving up without a fight, Herr Commandant. Commandant? I think you must have lost what remains of your tiny mind. The war was over 40 years ago. For nothing but a sad little old man. So sorry, but I really am bursting for the loo. <laughs> You're picking those up. Yes, excuse me. She's out cold. We have to escape while we can. We can't live without the strife. Well, how much longer are you going to be? I can't go at all if you're listening in. Oh, well, there's only the cheap scratchy paper. Well, yeah, well, you'll have to make do, madam. There's a war on. Um, I'd I, I leave it a few moments if I could. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Why do you get the cricket there? Come on, get over this. There's no way out. I've got an idea. Something Raj told me. What? That there's just one way out of here. This way. but we need some wheels. Wheels? I know just the place. You'll look after Miss Trifle. Come out, come out. Stop pushing. I'm not pushing. You need to be rude. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Got the rollers, Gates. Now we have to attach them here and here. Bolt the doors! No one escapes! Hold! Oh, what is he saying? Stop! See, for a good old-fashioned escape, you always need plenty of string. I hope you're not going to ask me to sit in that coffin. Oh, I absolutely not, madam. Thank goodness. I'm ordering you. Well, I'm, I'm doing it, but under duress. You too, Wing Commander. Hold on a second. I've left something under my oh, mattress. You don't have time. I must have it. So, is your grandfather single? Um... I think so. Why? No reason. What are you two nattering about? Nothing. Ready? Oh, my goodness, it's a coffin toboggan! It's a toboggan! <laughs> Can we do it again? Again! Yeah, tempting, madam, but now's not the time. Oh. <sighs> Come on. 
What are you waiting for? Get up and chase them! How do you want me to, to shock you into it? You made it! I don't know how we'll get over. What are we going to do? I'm sorry. I don't know. We're trapped. What we really need is... A ladder? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What's that about? Shelly! All right, Wrigley's, over we come. <laughs> chop, chop, we ain't got all day. I know you, don't I? Shelley Bunting of the Women's Air Force Auxiliary Service reporting for duty, sir. I was missing in action, but I'm back now. Good to have you here, Shelley. Very good indeed. Right, fine work, people, but we need to find a safe haven. So fall in and by the left, quick, come up, left. Report, Miss Dandy, to the authorities. And have a nice cup of tea. Perhaps the police would like a, a game of gin rummy. This has been the most exciting night of my life. Just doing my duty. My hero. Actually, I'm feeling quite peckish. Rogers will be open. Anyone want a lift? Oh. Wait, don't you have any proper music? Uh, this is proper music. I've got some Spandau Ballet. Spandau Ballet! Mr. Bumting, you escaped! Of course we did. For king and country. Uh, this is a cause for celebration. Take whatever you want. Anything at all. Thank you. Yeah, most kind. <laughs> That'll be three pounds twenty p. Mm. Mum will be up soon. We better go home. I mean, to our quarters. Well, absolutely not. The Luftwaffe could strike at any moment. It's bedtime, Grandpa. The Nazis won't be asleep. Get me to my Spitfire. I need to take to the skies. Uh, Mr. Bumting, huh? it would greatly help the war effort if you could uh, put these spicy knickknacks on that shelf. Uh, of course, Quartermaster. It's got worse. It's all my fault. I pretended the war was still on. No, Jack. You have always been a wonderful grandson. The best. Please. Please, can you get through to him? Jack, I've known your grandfather for a long time. He's not a well man. I know. He has a weak heart. Then why not let him have one final flight? This, please. So, Wing Commander, let's get you to your plane. Not before time. What next, lads? War Museum, please. I brought this record, put it on the gramophone. I'm an irresponsible teenager, otherwise I'd be telling you what a really bad idea this is. We're only stealing a Spitfire. Nothing to worry about.
There's not been a single day I haven't dreamt of flying you again. Ready, co-pilot. You're taking me? Of course. We're a team. <laughs> oh. Looks like they'll try again. Wild boys, wild boys. never lose it. Wild boys, never chose this way. Wild boys, never close your eyes. Just one thing missing. This is for you, squad leader. This is yours. You can't give me this. Nobody deserves it more than you do. Thank you, sir. Benefit secure. Check. Propeller set to low. Check. You will go down full. It's empty. We're going to have to get out and push. I'm so going to get grounded for this. That. I don't think my Griffin Savers account's quite that flush. Well, we'll have to requisition the fuel. It's for the war effort. They'll understand. It's a Spitfire. That's my Spitfire. I think you'd better get back in the plane. Yes, you're right there, squad leader. Close Spitfire in the garage, repeat. Close Spitfire in the garage. We've got to take off now. Call the police! Call the 18! Stop that plane! Oh! We need a clear runway. The hell can I make it? Better. Would you like to take the controls? Really? Why not? All yours, squad leader. Wow! They've never made a plane quite like her. Do you want to take her for a loop the loop? Can I? Of course, like this. Can we stay like this forever, Wing Commander? Just you and me. What's to stop us? Jerry's got a brand new plane, I say. They want us to land. We'll never surrender. This is Harry Wind Leader. You're in restricted airspace. Land or we will fire. Immediately, or we'll shoot you down. You won't catch me! Grandpa, you have to listen to me. We're not at war with Germany anymore. They're British planes. We have to land now. I, I don't want us to be shot down. Jack? Yes? My grandson. That's right, Grandpa. You've been wonderful to me, Jack. The best grandson there could be. You 
We've got to bail out now. What about you? I haven't long left. Jack Dodgy's ticker and all that. And, and up here, I'm the person I want to be. I don't want to be the person I am down there, not anymore. I don't want you to die. As long as you love me, Jack, I can never die. I'll always love you. But I don't want to leave you, I won't! Sorry, squad leader, I'm pulling rank. Jack, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Raj. Uh, is it true they never found the plane or your grandfather? Yes. It's an empty coffin. We don't know where he is. He's looking down on us all, I'm sure. Your father was always very proud of you, Mr. Bumting. Me? Said you were the finest con counter there was. Jack, I owe you an apology. I've researched your grandfather, and he did lead a team of brave young men in the Battle of Britain. That is a fact. He was a hero. He certainly was. Your grandpa would have saved thousands of lives on the ground. Thank you, Miss Verity. Yes. <clears throat> I have also written up a questionnaire on the history of the church, so uh, let's crack on with that. There's one please. If that's okay, uh, just try and keep your uh, on the line. Uh, Not many bums on seats today. The deceased can't have had too many friends. Pushing the door here. Oh, shuffle along, shuffle along. Oh, is, that, is that everyone now? Can we finally begin? Uh, there, there should be a few others, actually. So, uh... Gentlemen, by the left, quick march. <laughs> I tracked them down to invite them. men served with Grandpa in the war. This is his squadron. Welcome. It's a great honour to have you here, gentlemen. And you must come round to ours afterwards. I've laid on a lovely cold spread. Come on. And I'll have a range of musky body sprays on special. <laughs> Finally, we can begin. Music, maestro, please. <sighs> right. We are here to mourn the passing of someone very special. We are all going to miss Insert Name here very much. He was born in Insert Place here in the year Insert Year here. I'm sure we all has lovely memories of him. <laughs> and who could forget the time he insert heartwarming detail here to make it personal? <laughs> Stop the funeral! Oh, thank God for that. He is Miss Dandy from Twilight Towers. Or she's him, they're the same person. That's absurd! He's a crook who forges wills. He eats crackers, he is, he's crackers, just like his granddad. And they're the nurses. Nonsense! They deny it, don't you? Deny it, deny it. Come on, come on, come on. We were made to do it. I'll confess everything. 
I'm too pretty for prison. You stole our jewelry. You drugged us. You locked up the playing card so we couldn't play strip poker. Yeah, well, at least I know how to enjoy money. What's the point in having cash if you're all completely gaga, eh? Oh. I'll show you gaga. a few wills. So what if I pose as a big as to lure the old people into the home? What I wanted was a holiday home in Mystique. Is that too much to ask? Huh? Is church always this exciting? I'll have to come more often. <laughs> <laughs> Brave Jack. Me and your dad are very proud of you. And you, Shells. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you say goodbye. I see Grandpa every night, just at the time I was falling asleep. Now I have a child of my own, I tell her all about the adventures of my grandfather. And every night we see him too, flying his spitfire across the sky, he kept safe for us. Up, up and away. Grandpa was right. As long as you love someone, they can never die.